So my story obviously begins when I was born. Um, I was born with a rare form of eye cancer called retinoblastoma and the doctors found it. Unfortunately, that led to the removal of my left eye when I was just a little baby, um, but we were able to treat my right eye and, and, and get the cancer to go away, which was really good, meaning I, had to, I was able to keep my right eye and pretty much grew up seeing the world with that right eye, including doing the things I love, playing golf. So as a little kid, was just playing with one eye, but I didn't know any different. So I uh, was playing well, you know, played played the little kid tournaments and got lessons. And pretty much throughout the rest of my childhood, we actually were battling that cancer. It, it returned about eight times in my right eye. And every time it would return, we'd fight it. But eventually in the fall of 2009, when I was 12 years old, uh, that cancer returned for its last time. And this time the doctors had a different message and that was we were gonna have to remove my right eye as well, leaving me completely blind and that obviously turned my world upside down you know there was a lot of things we had to figure out um, but one of them one thing we really wanted to figure out was hey how can I still play this game I love and uh, golf despite not having eyesight and that started after losing my eye to just come out here figure out a way where my dad could set me up so we had a consistent setup and I could kind of orient myself to the ball into the hole or, you know stand in the right direction all those good things and then we went to work on my swing and that really was three steps forward, two steps back, four steps forward, five steps back, and we just put a ton of work into it, fought through the frustration, had the mental toughness, started seeing improvements, and then just built on that to the point where you know, we were able to finish nine holes, we were able to finish 18 holes, post scores, um, play competitively in high school, play competitively in blind golf and uh, adaptive golf, and so really it's it's been a, a whirlwind. It's probably one of the more difficult things I've, I've done blind, but uh, it's, Every time you know we, we go out there and play well and, and, and see that hard work pay off, it, it's all worth it. Playing with Cam was amazing today. It's always just uh, remarkable playing with a pro. Just to, to hear the ball striking is, is something that I always try to take in. You know, not many guys you play with that are weekend warriors make the ball sound like that coming off the club. So that's something I can still appreciate. Um, but then also just talking to these guys, you know, hearing how they, they live their lives. Um, you know, a lot of them obviously are, are from, you know, Australia or South Africa or Europe. So it's, it's really cool to kind of get that perspective from how they grew up, how they, you know, enjoy the U.S. Um, tell my story a little bit so it's, it's just they're such nice guys they are, are class acts and it's just awesome to have the ability to play golf with them he did not take my bet you know I think uh, I think he was thinking about it after the first couple holes but then I started really you know putting it together and I think he, he he didn't bring it back up let's just say that he was a lot of chirp you know we were definitely chirping and I think I made him a little nervous so I don't I, I look he didn't mention it when we left the green so I I, I don't know if he uh, if he really wants to bring up that and add up the strokes. Well, I think if I don't say Cam Smith, I'd be probably a jerk. So definitely uh, Cam Smith. I mean, he, when I was invited to play today, um, they asked, hey, who, who would be your number one guy you want to play with? And I definitely said Cam. So my, my rooting interests are with Cam through and through.